School shootings are becoming more common in recent times. Thankfully, the police all across the United States have been preparing themselves for such crimes. You're about to see the all-important moments when school shooters realize they've been caught. Do you go to this school? I used to, sir. What the? In 2023, 18-year-old Ohio high school student Nolan Rosen was found with a rifle and ammunition within his vehicle. After discovering a bullet in the cafeteria, the school administration called the police and had Rosen arrested. You're just arresting me on a charge that's made up. I know. You made, are, though. It's made up. It's made up. It's made up. I go upstairs with one of them with them. If I was a school shooter, I wouldn't tell you. Let me ask you this why I got you right here. Just be honest with me. You didn't bring any gun to school, did you? No. That's the only reason you only had one round? Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't like bring a gun in school. No, okay, I know. That's not my intention. Police were called in to search students' inventory, and Rosen here was recorded on a police body camera saying that he was found with a bullet in his pocket. He also admits to having a semi-automatic point .22 caliber rifle for sentimental value, which he claims he does not use, but holds onto it anyway for comfort. He says some interesting things like, if I was a school shooter, I wouldn't tell you, and I wouldn't bring a gun to school. It's not my intention. Of course. All right, just turn around, face over here real quick. Put your hand on that table for me. So you had two bullets in this one? These are yours? Right here. Okay, we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay. Literally, if I thought I was doing anything wrong, I wouldn't bring I, I got you. You just know in today's day, you can never be too safe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially in a school environment, that's all. I know why it would raise a concern, but I'm not like, I'm really scared about that stuff like school shooters do. I'm like very, uh, it makes me anxious too that anyone can just walk into school and shoot it up. So I'm like, do you worry about that? Yeah, I worry about that stuff a lot sometimes. Is cool. there a gun in your car right now? Yeah. Let's go out. So you, you'll stay. Yeah. yeah. Rosen is searched by the police. He admits to having two bullets in his pocket, which are consequently removed during the search. Rosen seems to be quite calm in his demeanor, and the officers have been respectful in their responses, ensuring that they are not assuming anything and that this is all for the purpose of everyone's safety. He claims to be worried about the prospects of school shootings and that he keeps a weapon to make him feel comfortable. After saying that he drove to school, he confirms that the weapon is inside his car. Once the keys to his vehicle are found, the officers search its interior for the weapon and any other evidence. All right, so what I would do, I would just leave it like this. Yeah. As long as this is not back, it's not going to fire. You verify that he's 18? We looked on the... Yeah, I can triple check, but... Is he a senior? He's a junior. 18-year-old junior? Yep. The .22 rifle is found, which the officers describe as the sort of weapon used for hunting small wildlife rather than being capable of committing mass acts of violence. While there are no minimum age restrictions for the possession of firearms, we cannot forget about the federal age restrictions that very much still apply. Meanwhile, the suspect is eventually taken to the principal's office. So I see you sign here saying that I present to an office. So it's a 10-day suspension, potentially. So we have to talk afterwards, but it's a possible 10-day suspension with a recommendation for expulsion for weapons, specifically guns and disruptive So this is all policy piece. So this is just signing that I presented you with this. Look through all the policies to make sure that I was allowed to bring it. Yeah, but you would have to sign that. That's just acknowledgement. It's not saying that you're guilty or anything like that. I thought I was allowed to like, bring it in the parking lot. I mean, regardless, you're going to have to either sign it or don't, or don't sign it. But... You know what I mean? I thought I, just thought, I thought I was allowed to bring the rifle in the parking lot. Okay. So that's like where I'm coming from, all right? I'm just saying. Okay. I signed it. Still right. Well, I'm just kind of explaining that I like, thought I was allowed to bring it as long as I wasn't um, bringing it actually in the building. So I didn't like check the policy before I brought the gun. That's why I brought it, by the way. Okay. Like, I didn't like it's like literally the only reason, my only justification is I didn't check the policy. But I like get how it sounds like when you say this kid brought a gun to school in this modern age, it sounds like my only intentions were to shoot up the school. But my intentions weren't to shoot up the school. My intentions were to use it as a thing for a comfort thing, a thing to like calm me down a little bit and kind of like a sentimental thing a little bit. Rosen repeats that the weapon was kept in his car to help him calm down and is insistent it was for self-defense in case a school shooting should ever occur. 
Despite claiming that he checked the school's policies on firearms, he believed that keeping it in the trunk of his car would have been okay. Of course, this is far from the case. Police worked with the administration to decide on a suitable punishment for the student. However, his mood takes a notable shift when he is arrested. If we thought that there was an inkling that we were wrong, if there was any gray area, we would, wouldn't do it. We wouldn't do it. We respect your rights, okay? As a person. Stand up. Put your hands behind your back. You said I can Put wait your hands behind your back. I'm telling you, I respect you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stand by. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right here. Okay. We will treat. Listen. No, I love. No. Okay. I respect my police. I understand. I understand that. You're safe with us. Okay. Everything is gonna be okay. We'll explain everything. Why would I not be safe? I'm. Why would I not be safe? So you are safe. I'm yeah, but why would I not be safe? You're, I don't want that's, you to that means feel you're uncomfortable. But not. by saying you're safe with us, that means you're assuming I'm not safe. No, I just want you to have the understanding of where we're coming from. I know where you're coming from. Okay. See that car up at number 6234? That's the car we're going to. The sooner you get in that car, the better off we'll all be. Okay? Saying I'm really nice to I understand that it's food. not I get people food I for free. I understand that. Like yeah, what? Yeah. Go ahead, sit in here butt first. It's kind of cool in here actually. It's all right. I'm gonna put this I didn't grab all that stuff. Go ahead and look that way. I don't want to interfere with your pen. I don't wear it. I didn't like I had no listen. idea the rifle was like a big deal. Okay, okay, okay. It's a 22 caliber. Listen, listen, it's not listen. like listen. assault no, rifle. Listen, it's not, a, it's not a, like a made for killing. It's made for shooting small game. I understand. You'll have an opportunity to explain your version of why this played out or how this happened. Okay, you'll have that. Maybe right now to each of us is not the opportunity. Take a breath a minute. Try, try to relax a minute. we got to move forward, okay? Do you get what I'm saying? You'll have an opportunity to explain it. Continuously arguing with the officers is doing Rosen no favors here. He constantly insists that he is not in the wrong and that the restrictions are made up. While he calms down a bit when he is placed in the back of a police cruiser, he still continues to insist his innocence. The body camera officer retains his approachable and respectful demeanor throughout it all, which is commendable and is likely keeping the suspect calm here. Ultimately, Rosen received a 10-day suspension and after his arrest, was charged with possessing a deadly weapon in a school safety zone. Hopefully, he has learned not to carry weapons intended for hunting game on school grounds, regardless of the justifications or whether he believes the laws are made up or not. Another incident took place at a school in Ocala, Florida in April 2018. Have a look at this CCTV footage of a boy running inside his school and up the stairs carrying a backpack and a guitar case. To any unsuspecting person, 19-year-old Sky Bush was hurrying to class while lugging a guitar with him. Alas, inside the case was a 16-gauge shotgun and the bag on his back contained ammunition, gloves, and a tactical vest. After heading to the bathroom, he unpacked his weapon and gear, and then headed back out. It was reported that one student he walked past didn't seem to notice that he was visibly armed. When he got outside of classroom 212, he fired the weapon once before putting down the weapon and heading to classroom 229. MSCO school deputy Jim Long is called to the scene, alongside various members of the school's administration and staff, after hearing reports of an explosion. Secure. What the hell is that? What happened? What was that? 9996. 996 burn. 996 burn. I think it was a signal 35. If you could uh, send me signal 55, C hallway. Hey, lock this school down. Open the door. Ain't nobody in there. Down on the ground. What the hell? Put your hands behind your back. Everyone out. Okay, stop right there. Stop right there. Who is he? Nine nine six burn. I have one in custody. They're saying he's a shooter. Did anyone see him? No, no, he was outside. He came down. 
Do you go to this school? I used to, sir. What the? All right, go out. Everyone out. Hey, keep them right there. There's another one in the in the restroom. No, I said the guns in front of you. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. I'm what did he say? I wasn't raised by the right people. Are you kidding me? There's a lot of violence. I don't know. If I'll say another word. Do you have anything else on you? No, sir. Do you have any other weapons on this campus? No, Do you sir. have any other explosives on this campus? Sir, I put all my stuff on the table behind you, sir. One student has been injured by the gunfire and is receiving immediate medical treatment. The weapon is found by Deputy Long, who instructs nearby staff to lock the school down in between operating two radios. Soon enough, he is notified that Bush has retreated to a computer room with other students inside and has since surrendered after a teacher approached and spoke to him. This is an extremely dangerous thing to do for anyone, let alone a member of staff, in an emergency situation like this. Nevertheless, it has clearly been enough to encourage the shooter to stand down. Bush remains cooperative with the officer and gets down on the ground at the deputy's request, and is immediately placed in handcuffs. What is, what is your name? Sky Boucher. Sky Boucher, and you used to go to school here? S-K-Y Boucher. I used to go here, uh... Last year, yes, sir. There, I mean, it ain't gonna do make anything right this minute. Do you have any idea on you or anything right now? I left it in my car. And your car is where? It's uh, it's in the parking lot. It's got a broken window. And it's what got, color is it? What kind is it's, it? Uh, it's a Nissan x It's got pink duct tape and a broken window. Where? In the student parking lot? Senior parking lot. Senior parking lot. Senior parking lot. Senior parking lot. What side? This side or by the gym or by the auditorium? It's uh... Where... Huh? I'm not really sure right now. I think the right side of the school. How did you get up here with a shotgun? You just carried it up here? Yes, sir. Are you kidding me? Holy cow. Right here. Is there anybody else with you? No, sir. I'm the only one. You're the only one? Yes, sir. Bush's responses are calm and collected. He admits to carrying the shotgun up the stairs, to the deputy's shock and that he gave up after a single shot. He warns that his parents are very mentally ill, and that if they find out, they may get violent, and pointing out that every member of his family is bipolar or schizophrenic. One, zero, six, one, one, ten, Doug, stand behind me. I got in here. What? Stand behind me. need a marked unit. Shall I get a marked unit down here? Hi. That's fine. Stand in that corner. I went to the bathroom. Did you get planted since 2013? I think it's been on. Because, I mean, we know about it. Yeah, I know. I know you did. So you've been. This is playing. Uh, the thing that seems to me gone, but when I get depressed, things start coming back. But I don't feel about it. Where are we at? Right. RCID. Yeah. I just want to be in a, in a game. Um, give me your, uh, you have a, you have a, a key? A key? Yeah, a handcuff key. Hang tight. Hang tight. I don't know about this thing. Okay. Why'd you like? You want to take it off of him? We can. Bush was charged with armed burglary of a structure to facilitate or further terrorism discharging a firearm on school property to facilitate or further terrorism, possessing a short-barreled shotgun, carrying a concealed firearm, and disrupting or interfering with an educational institution. In 2021, he was sentenced to a 30-year minimum mandatory sentence with no eligibility for early termination of his probation. He was also sentenced to restitution of more than $14,000. March 2023 was a terrifying time for the Covenant School in Nashville, Tennessee. Former student Audrey Hale, 28-year-old, entered the grade school armed with two assault rifles and an additional sidearm. As seen on the school's CCTV footage, after shooting through the glass in the school's front doors, Hale can be seen climbing inside and patrolling the hallways, assault rifle in hand. The police were notified of gunshots at 10.13 a.m. 
where they rushed to the scene and entered the building. Yes. Into my window, so they're upstairs. Hey. Give me, give me three. Let's get three. First floor, first floor. Hold there, y'all. Somebody hold there. Hit that door. Rifle first. Rifle first. Blue, go. Go, 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 go. Go. Move. Move. I'm with you. Go left. Go, go stairs, go stairs, go. Go, 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 Push it LPVO. Push it LPVO. Go right. With the alarms blaring, the police sweep through room after room in search of the shooter. A victim is found on the ground while gunshots ring out. Eventually, Hale was spotted in a common area on the second floor shooting outside of the window. Two officers fire upon the suspect, fatally wounding her. The shooter had claimed the lives of six victims in total. According to police writings, two shotguns were found in Hale's Brightwood Avenue home as part of a search warrant alongside a manifesto revealing that this was a meditated attack, while using disparaging, homophobic and racist remarks against white privilege. Though police identified the suspect as a woman, the police chief said that Hale was transgender and went by the name Aiden. Parkland, Florida was home to a school shooter in February 2018. 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz opened fire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, his former high school, with a semi-automatic rifle. He started outside the building before entering and continuing the attack. 17 victims lost their lives while 14 were injured. Even more disturbingly is the fact that Cruz allegedly uploaded a video to YouTube called I'm going to be a professional school shooter. Allegedly, after the attack, he told psychologists he felt like no one loved him, which inspired him to commit this heinous act on Valentine's Day in order to ruin it for everyone. After the attack, he tried to conceal himself within the crowd of panicking students. Here he can be seen on CCTV walking down the street. Cruz thought he could get away but was arrested in nearby Coral Springs in roughly 80 minutes. Body camera footage reveals the dialogue that took place between him and the officers that managed to find him and pin him down to the ground. today, bro. Yeah, the de demons, man. Demons? Voices. Yeah, no problem. Voices. Voice voices and demons? Where's the voices? Oh, Where the am I? Holy shit. What happened? Shut up. Just be quiet, man. Shut up. 
I'm also on. Hey. How are you? Huh? During his arrest, one of the officers kneeled down and asked what was going on. The suspect blamed voices and demons. He feigns surprise and asks, Where am I? What happened? Before quickly being told to stay quiet. Later on, he can be heard whimpering and crying. His arrest was also caught on camera at different angles. My friend said his window was up. Like his house window's closed window. Nicholas Cruz has been charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder. After five years of court cases, he was sentenced to 34 consecutive life sentences. In Ingham County, Michigan, back in June 2019, a patrolling officer approached Anthony McRae here after hearing reports of burglaries in the nearby area. How you doing? What's the word, man? You work here? No. You have a weapon on you? Yeah. What do you have? Uh, 380. 380? Well, put your hands behind your back real quick. I'm just going to detain you for a second, okay? Keep... When you reach it into your, your pocket like that, when I'm coming up on you, and you got a firearm in your pocket that's, uh, that you oh, don't no, have no, a permit no. for, it's kind of a bad situation, okay? Oh, when I reach it from my pocket? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, right now, I will, I will advise you that you're going to be, you're under arrest right now because you're carrying a concealed weapon that's not permitted. Uh, so your detainment did turn into an arrest just now, but we're going to talk about that in just a second, okay? Have a seat back here, partner. What's your first name? Uh, Anthony. Anthony, we're gonna have a conversation for a second, okay, buddy? Yep. Hang tight. McRae seems cooperative and polite here. Here, he is patted down during his temporary detainment, where a loaded .380 ACP semi-automatic handgun is found in his possession alongside a spare clip. Here, he admits to not having a firearm permit, and is consequently arrested. The body camera cop can be heard saying, Your detainment just turned into an arrest. I know I'm supposed to have a permit to carry the 380. You know you don't got a permit for it? No, but I'm working on it. I was working on getting my, uh... Did you know that you needed a permit to carry that 380? Yeah, man, yeah, but it's late. I'm going to the store. Yeah. And, um... Why were you carrying it? Protection. Protection. But like I said, I just left QD. I normally come here, smoke a cigarette. According to McRae, he was working on getting a permit for his weapon, and that he was carrying it illegally anyway for protection. Supposedly, it was purchased from a nearby pawn shop for $214. His explanation for coming out to this particular location is to smoke and enjoy some peace and quiet. After speaking with him in the back of the police car, he is given a second search. Let's face the, the emblem right here on the car one more time. The partner's here gonna light you up so we have a good uh, idea of what's going on. I'm gonna search you one more time prior to taking it down. So like I said, you are under arrest for that CCW. What's gonna happen is this. Uh, I'm gonna document everything you told me in regards to why you're carrying that firearm. The fact that you were de trying to obtain that uh, the actual permit to carry that firearm. However, City of Lansing, State of Michigan, when you do have a firearm like that concealed in your person, is indeed a crime. Okay, and as our job as law enforcement officers to effect arrests on that. So it's that's why I wanted to ask you, what's that? It's a felon. Yes, sir. Have you been charged with a crime before? So I can go to prison for this. They're going to talk to the prosecuting attorney about it. Is what's going to happen. Okay. But I can't. Or uh, it's not up to us. It's up to the circumstances around the situation. Okay. McRae was charged with a felony but also pleaded guilty to an additional lesser charge of misdemeanor possession of a loaded firearm in a vehicle. As a result of this, he was sentenced to 12 months of probation in November 2019. Court reports state that an additional six months were added in order to allow him to complete the terms of the probation order. Macray's probation period officially concluded in May 2021. Four years after this encounter, however, he would take part in a school shooting at Michigan State University, killing three victims and injuring five before taking his own life with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. In March 2022, a resource deputy paid a visit to Atlantic High School in Florida after being notified of a student who starred in a TikTok video wielding a handgun. Footage shows the officer entering a gymnasium alongside a teacher. Do you know what this kid looks like? Let's get his backpack too.
You know what I want to talk to you about? You don't know? Okay. The suspect is pointed out by the gym teacher and is taken to a nearby corridor to be searched. After lifting his hoodie on command, a Sig Sauer 9 mm pistol can be found tucked in the front of his trousers. It was revealed to have been stolen from a relative. All right, do me a favor, keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Okay, take your backpack off for me. All right, so... Somebody reported that they have a photo of you, and in the photo it looks like there's some sort of a weapon sticking out of a pocket, or... Take your hands out of your pockets. Okay, do me a favor, just lift your sweatshirt up, turn around for me. Turn around again. Lift your sweatshirt up again. What is that? Relax. Okay. Anything else I need to be concerned about? Is it, is it, what kind of gun is it? Alright, don't move. So, this back door. I'm not going to parade you through the gym, but we're going to go to my office and we're going to do the investigation. Okay. Hey, coach, grab this bag for me. Thankfully, no one was harmed, and the situation remained calm as the suspect was taken through a back exit. According to media outlets, the suspect was charged with carrying a concealed firearm, possession of a firearm on school property, and grand theft of a firearm. The victim who had the aforementioned weapon stolen from him was said to have also pressed charges. One can only hope he has learned his lesson about the severe danger he posed after bringing in a gun to school, and that he won't make that foolish decision again. Which of these videos surprised you the most? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comment section below, and please consider subscribing and liking the video in order to support the channel. All of these things really help support us, and will help us deliver more quality content for your viewing pleasure. Also, please consider checking out the videos on screen now. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay safe.